Welcome to Real Naturo, a resource for healthy living. If you are a holistic practitioner, check out our herbal medicine product line, Naturo Medicines, and join our community for shared resources on Real Talk. Welcome to another Naturo Talk. Today we have holistic health Harry with us talking about urine therapy. Harry intrigued me back in 2020 when I read an article in a British newspaper about urine therapy. And this is a not such a well-known or well-understood area of alternative health. Harry's going to go into the benefits of urine therapy, how it helped him on his journey out of depression and also for his spiritual development. Welcome, Harry. Thank you so much for being on Naturo Talk. It's great to have you on here. We've had a couple of chats before, but nothing official on a podcast. We've done a few lives. And actually, you've massively inspired me with your presence on social media and how you just were flourishing all of the time. You inspired me to do my first proper live, which was like this time last year. So that's really wow. cool. Yeah, that's good to know. That's crazy. Time's flown since then so much. Really? It was like a whole lifetime it's gone in a year. Oh, crazy. So much happened that year. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I've done a little intro. Would you like to introduce yourself to our other holistic practitioners and our wider community of cleansers and um, practitioners? Sure. As, as you already said, I'm, I guess my brand name is Holistic Health Harry, but I'm Harry Mastin. I'm 34 years old and I am obsessed with physical health, I guess, but really I'm into all health. So that's emotional, spiritual, but my specialty is uh physical health protocols although they're all related and one of my favorite which really woke me up is what uh we're going to talk a bit about today which is um urine um the drinking of one's pee and if we can the uh fermented pee so there's levels to this and i really go um to the other level of urine so beyond fresh urine which is already triggering to the next level which is fermented smell of urine which i will see is brilliant Brilliant. So I am so intrigued. At what point in your life did you say, right, today I'm going to start drinking my own pee? I guess the beginning was, and I think it's the same for you and many people watching, it's like you have some kind of awakening um, when you realise something massive has been, you've been lied to about something massive in the world, then you start wondering why, then it starts you down the rabbit hole of all the other lies they tell you, which happens to be all the big stuff and they never lie about the small stuff. And to be honest, before I got into urine therapy, I was already into mental um, fixing my brain from depression, rewiring all the negative thoughts. But when I did get into urine, that took me to a whole new level because I wasn't into health. I was drinking tap water. I wasn't fasting and I wasn't drinking any quality water. So in 2016, I read a book because I always open minded. I read a book on Amazon called Your Own Perfect Medicine by Martha Christie. And in it, it just explains all the science that's been hidden from us in the 1920s, 30s and 40s of why urine's amazing, the science of it. So I read that book in less than a day in a park in Birmingham. Martha Christie. And was she yeah, it's called, a medical doctor? Was she... Um, that's a good question. She wrote the book in 90, early 90s and it's still available on Amazon now. It's got many good reviews. That's why I bought it. Um, but I don't know. I think urine therapists have tried to seek her out, but she's a bit underground and doesn't really want the popularity and fame that she would get if she came out in the open about this so I don't know where she is right now but I, I really do honor her for that book because when I read it I was like well I've got to give this a go I wasn't sure it was going to work but I wasn't I think it wasn't going to work either so the next morning I drank some of my fresh urine it wasn't that much I don't remember it being a lot not even a whole cup or maybe half a cup but when I drank it I felt amazing <laughs> it was so different my level of consciousness um from that point on I knew my life would never be the same again from my first cup of fresh urine and that was 2016 and it's proven true fast forward six years my life has never been the same again since I drank my pee so do you think you were just you were searching and how to fix depression how to cure yourself and you stumbled across this or you think it was divinely kind of guided and that's your path 
I mean, when I first read it, I thought I didn't know anything about divinity, synchronicity. In fact, I was atheist, I think. When I, well, no, that's not true. I started to come into God, but I didn't understand um, the fact that we have spirits, guides, we're being guided, we're spiritual beings, human bodies. I only learned that a lot afterwards when I got into these communities that we're now in. So no, um, but now I recognize it as, of course, um, because I do remember that day I drank it. I remember saying over my head, my life will never be the same again. That was like a positive spirit inside my brain, knowing that I would never be the same. I didn't know how or why I would never be the same again, but I just knew <laughs> I would be. So I was guided to it. Mm. Are you going to smell different? <laughs> and uh, well, that's the funny thing. I drank it and it it's OK. It didn't smell. Um, this, it never it didn't smell funny to me. It really didn't. It was just fresh. So I was surprised, actually, when I drank. I was also being surprised that I didn't. It wasn't as nasty as I thought it was going to be. My pee. I mean, I, I don't think I was eating loads, but it wasn't that bad. Hmm. You said that you felt incredible after the first cup of it. Can you explain that a little mm -hmm. bit more? And is it still the same now? Yeah. Um, well, because the book suggested I didn't know anything about urine therapy. The book said drink your first of the morning as soon as you wake up. Um, some of it. So I thought, OK, some spent the numb. I'm probably not going to drink a whole glass, but I will drink some. And I mean, I was on tap water before this. So maybe that was a huge reason why. But basically, my brain woke up from some kind of depression and dis an act on activation. Um, yeah, my brain just woke up and I was really shocked and excited because I thought, well, it's powerful, but also I don't need to pay for this. So I can maintain this vibration state for free. So I didn't have a load of money at the time, next to none. So it was really those two things, the power of it and the freeness that made me think my life would never be the same again. Yeah, that makes sense. It's almost like it's established another level of connection to yourself and obviously to source that you didn't have before. And what was fascinating is that you went straight into it. I mean, I know a lot of people that do urine therapy and they've they've got there through their spiritual awakening, through their journey, through being fruitarian or starting raw and then fruitarian and maybe breatharian and then just urine therapy. But for, to go straight mm. in, um, yeah, that's pretty fascinating. Yeah, I think that's because my personality is very, um, I try and tone it down now, but I guess I was way more extreme in the younger days or way more desperate. So I've come in it like urine and then fasting, seam retention, fruit. Um, growing your hair long I've got the other way around to what you just mentioned urine opened me up to spirituality and everything I'm doing now mm. yeah but it was urine mm. that started it so I <laughs> spoke about this last year I spoke I was considering doing urine therapy and I had a boyfriend at the time who was definitely not gonna go down that route and mm. when I was considering it I was just thinking about every, every single thing that you put in your body you would um, you would be even more mindful about, even more thoughtful about. So in essence, it's actually, it could be like a shortcut to going into a very healthy lifestyle, specifically around food yeah. and food yeah. choices. Yeah. Of course, I love people's focus on diet exercise, but from my own experience and some of my close friends I really trust also, it's like the liquid that you put in your body, although sometimes fruits do have good quality. If you can get quality liquid in your body, that will detox you very fast and transform your consciousness. So that's the reason why I think urine is so fresh urine and then aged a whole different story. Um, it, it's a quality, very, very quality. It's just you, but you've been told it's um, something you need to not use because it's um, something that's toxic when the, the only truth I've ever learned people that do it is it doesn't kill you first of all and when you take it very often the case you feel much better when you take it so then you start wondering what's going on why have they told me it's a lie what do you think to a lot of obviously medical dogma around it's toxic it has urea in very high amounts um we don't want to be absorbing that it's coming out of the body and therefore why would you put it back in what do you think to that theory but I think they're put in place deliberately to keep people sick and unhealthy because uh, I really believe there would be, if people are dying of hunger in such huge amounts, as they say, it's all unnecessary when you could just fast on urine and really thrive. Um, so it's got to be put in place. I think that the lies are 
there's somewhat truth within the lies, but the actual truth of the actual truth is that it's never bad for you. There's a small percentage of waste, but then the magic is 99.9%. Why are we focusing in life? We don't focus on the 1% of bad out there unless you watch the news all the time. That's got a bit of bad and they try and make out the news is the whole world. But you go outside and you see 99% amazing people and nice things happening. It's the same with urine. You drink it. Yes, you're taking in 0.01% waste. What are you going to do? You're going to focus on the news, the fear, the waste, or the 99.9% which you receive benefits from in the urine. It's exactly the same analogy. It feels so amazing. No one can tell you it's waste when you try it. Okay. And do you believe it's, it's your own medicine? So yeah, I do. That's why I love Martha Christie's book. I mean, I've written my own books on urine, but I love the title. I don't think like, everyone will top her a title of a book um, because I didn't even know when I bought that book what it was about. I just saw the loads of reviews, Chloe, and I was like, oh, loads of five star reviews. What's this book about? Your own perfect medicine, which is weird because I was like everybody else, obviously. And when I first read it, I was like, what? I thought urine's a waste product. But the book was saying it wasn't. OK. And can you tell us a bit about the traditions of urine therapy? So how, for how many years have people been doing this? That's a really good question. Um, people think, maybe some people watching this are going to think it's new when it's not. It started in India, and the proof is in the Shivambu Kalpa, which is an ancient 2,000-year-old Hindu text um, that claims and exaggerates, if I'm being honest, but it says if you drink your urine, you're going to become really young, a thousand years younger, you're going to, your skin, it does make your skin glow, so there's some truths in there, but it's been known about and practiced by yogis in India thousands of years ago, and of course, it doesn't just stay in India, it would have been in ancient cultures of, now China has got a huge um, underground, a lot of people drinking it, so it must have gone very early on from India to China, I mean, it's in, it's in USA, UK, Germany, I'd say the top five at the moment are India, China, um, USA, UK, and Germany. It's all over the world, but um, growing communities that are evolving and who are outspoken about it in those countries, right? Yeah, those are the ones where they're the most famous, but it's always been there. And what's happening now is the ancient knowledge has never been suppressed completely. How can it be? So the divinity from the ancient knowledge is slowly creeping up. And what I've seen at the moment is there's a resurgence in urine. And I know that because I've written books on it and my book sales are just, um, since I wrote it 2019, January, mm -hmm. they're always going up now. Um, the last year or so has been really fast. Like the growth of the people's demand for interest in urine. Congratulations. And I guess that's a lot of people who are looking to heal themselves and take their power back in terms of health and happiness after this huge charade that we've had going on for the last couple of years. Exactly. And mine's not even normal urine. I don't know if I've got it on me. Yeah, it's, um, it's like I said to you at the beginning, it's aged urine, um, which is another thing. So people have typed in aged urine. They must have known about it. I think a lot of people that buying this book have known about it before or they have an interest now because it's got a lot of reviews. Yeah. So a lot of people are buying it and discovering the power, not even a fresh of the fermented. Tell us about that, Harry. Why aged urine? Mm. And tell us about the smell. I can't get over the smell of things. Have you smelt it then, Chloe, your own? And how old was it when you smelt it? <laughs> smell my own, yeah, but I haven't put it in a jar and waited. <laughs> to have okay, because if you wait about nine months, beyond nine months, it stops smelling completely. Between zero and nine months, it will, um, between a few weeks to nine months, it's most likely going to smell. But it doesn't mean it's not powerful. And it doesn't mean that you're going to smell. Um, this, <laughs> this is a, min this is a min misconception a little bit. The misconception is that if you if it you've got aged urine that smells, you're going to smell only if it will only if you put it on your skin, which is a way of taking it in. And even then, only for a few hours, because your skin is organic and it, it seeps in. But if you drink it, it'll only stay on your breath for a minute or two of this smelly stuff. And then it completely disappears. And I mean that if you kiss another person after a few minutes, give it five minutes and then the smell's completely gone. It's just gone in your body. Disappeared. Incredible. Incredible. Well, there's only one way to know. Yes. Let's try it. But I just, my lifestyle, I can't imagine driving around in my van full of jars of aged piss. <laughs> Funny, because I do know people that do drive around in their vans full of aged piss. I know people that do that. <laughs> well, maybe I have to get over myself and just try it out. Um, 
Yeah, so the age you're in, what are the benefits of that over the fresh? The main, like, there's three benefits that would be super helpful. Right, well, I believe, this is going to sound egotistical, but I figured out again through Divinity, the main reason, the actual main reason why urine is so powerful, and this might offend or trigger people or maybe think, I don't know, but it's not nutrients content, although there's loads of good stuff in urine. The actual deal with urine fresh and aged, which is way more powerful, is fresh urine is structured because you're alive it's like tap water is dead spring water can be structured but it's got a little toxicity in it urine fresh is like a vortex if you especially if you're a guy or you watch your pee as it comes out you'll see it spin around in a vortex so fresh well, urine is a figure of eight it's in an infinity symbol that's the structure. does it yeah oh there we go that's a structured vortex which is amazing and the fresh well that's the main reason why fresh urine is so powerful what happens with aged urine when you sit in a bottle it gets more structured. It's my joke is my terminology becomes uber super structured. So every day you let it sit in a bottle, it becomes so much more structured, like to infinity. And it gets ridiculously powerful and alkaline, which is another avenue that you, we can talk about. Like alkaline is living, is life. Um, we, we're too acidic in our thoughts and our body. And it's also loads of oxygen and loads of negative ions in it. But the main reason aged urine is so powerful is it becomes uber super structured which means that it has a high negative charge and it like a magnet it will go in there and it will pull out it will attract all the bad stuff and then pull it out of the body uh, and give energy to the cells to the atp and it cleans the blood it clears the blood out so the blood cells are nice and thin and not sticky and coagulated <laughs> and it all becomes perfection with your body um with the aged it'll be assisting the lymphatic system as well Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I don't focus on that enough. Absolutely. The fresh urine too will um, have give you drastic results on detoxing a toxic lymphatic system. But yeah, the aged urine especially will really clear the lymphatic system out. Yeah. Nice. So I run a cleanse group, the RN cleanse is 10 days. And predominantly it's to support practitioners, the work that practitioners do. So people do a cleanse and it helps with all of their drainage. So all the whole lymphatic system helps with the elimination of toxins through the skin, through the breath, through the colon with enemas. And I'm just thinking for those that want to embark on a, on a what, what do you call it? Urine therapy, UT lifestyle. Like, I guess there's many words, shivambu, orin, urine. Yeah, oh, women. Okay, I like that. So those that want to embark on this lifestyle, doing a cleanse could effectively be super helpful for them because they're first cleansing out a lot of toxins from the body Yes, um, and preparing themselves for a whole new lifestyle, which I believe when you step into a new lifestyle, you need to grieve the old one. You need to process and grieve the old one to fully step into the new one. Yeah, you're right. I like what you do because um, that stuff is... Um... I mean, I rushed into urine therapy, but there's ways of doing it that are better if I look back at it. It's maybe like the stuff that you do, the juice cleansing, the enemas, the dry skin brushing. Like I said at the beginning, I went the wrong way around in a way, but I kind of, it would have been better if I went through all the cleansing, understand how the body works, and then did urine as the next advanced step afterwards, um, because then it just takes you to get closer. You might get a detox reaction, a heavy detox reaction if you're really toxic and you drink urine. Same with your cleansers. I'm sure you get people that have the um if they do too much too fast it freaks the body out it's structured in a way and, and it has the support with psychotherapists and natural medicine practitioners so there is no big hoax reaction um, i mean people's not even their skin flares up a lot of time people jump on cleanses and their skin just breaks out before it calms down but with this it doesn't it just clears up um oh that's so cool well, that's we really cool to have yeah. big reactions because a lot of the time those reactions it's the energy bodies that aren't catching up it's the psychic body that's having a little like ah but we really take care of the psychic body throughout the cleanse um and that's supported with presence practices and breath work and self-inquiry so yeah we don't have those big like the body going ah <laughs> moment. okay so with urine um it's best to not do too much too fast if you're really toxic because you will have those reactions and then if you don't know anything about health you risk thinking that urine is waste which it's not because it's caused made you worse but the rule of health is if you are really unhealthy you must if you do things that are too powerful 
you will seem to get much worse, but that doesn't mean you're getting worse. To stay worse, you're getting worse because this has to come out in order to get better. So mm. that's the key thing that people that are new to anything to do with detox need to understand. But yeah. people like their advice, uh, you've just taken something really powerful. You're not worse forever. You're only worse temporary to get you better because if that doesn't come out from something powerful you've done, that's going to stay in and cause you serious issues down the line. Um, you should celebrate that, it coming out. That reaction, we have the physical body that we're cleansing, but also the energetic. So if you're not transforming that energy, transforming um, toxins in essence as well, quickly enough, um, that's when you have the big reaction. So mm. it's always having your, you know, being in your center, being in the heart space, being able to access the heart whilst you're doing all of these things and not just overriding with the inflex and with the head and just doing like, okay, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that because it doesn't work like that. You will just hit a wall eventually. Everything mm. needs to be incorporated holistically. Yeah. yeah, I like that. I mean, I must say as well, when I did the urine for the first few days, I remember having diarrhea, um, but I knew it wasn't, because I felt great whilst I was having diarrhea. I felt really mentally great. I knew it wasn't bad for me, even though I didn't know anything about detox at the time. So I just knew. But yeah, I had um, severe diarrhea, I guess, for two or three days. My bowels were toxic and it really helped clear them out. Yeah. And do you have any health ailments now with your lifestyle? And, and how is your depression? Oh, that's a good question. Do you know what? Truthfully, Chloe, I wouldn't say I really suffered from physical health aspect. I say it was all mental, emotional. Um, not that I was perfect in health and still not now. Um, but yes, the depression really went away with the urine and the age took my happiness uh, to another level um, on my energy levels. I mean, there's other things that I do for energy that are amazing, like holding my seed in um, and fasting and eating good food. But my the urine, hmm, it's always going to be with me. I've got loads of bottles in my room here um, behind the camera right now that I'm aging. that I just have on the go every day. But the truth is I've got a lot of them in plastic bottles. But I mean, I drank like that in two days. I'm probably going to finish this off today. So for those who are listening, what's that? Seven oh, that's a litre bottle um, of e 1.5 of Evian. Um, it's got urine in it, not Evian anymore. Yeah. Okay. And at 11.30 in the morning, you've had about 700 mils of that already. That's, I'd say about 500 mils because it's something it was yesterday's. Um, but yeah, I'll probably finish it off today. I've got loads. <laughs> By the way, that doesn't mean you need to drink as much. The rule is the more the better. But hey, if you're not started, do some because some is better than none. So do what you can for yeah. you. Because if you set yourself a goal too high, you'll never do it. Set yourself something small and manageable if that's what you want and just do it. it must be very convenient like if you're driving. or I've, I've listened to a friend of mine in the States who does a YouTube channel. And when he's live streaming, he will pee in a cup and drink it. Oh, that's cool. Do I know him? Maybe <laughs> not. Doesn't have to stop. He just keeps going. All right, I'm just trying to think of other questions people might have. I'm sure people have a lot of questions. For me, the main one is is like the smell. Thank you for clarifying that, the fact that it doesn't smell once you once you drink it. Mm -hmm. um, and the, for the science, I encourage people to go and read about this and to really understand um, the science of it, because of course there's a science to it. It's just Science is limited. Should I plug my book a little bit? Because um, there is science in my books. I've written one, which is the one that's the bestseller. And it's, it's just got the eight ways and a bit of science, good science on the aged urine. The second one, the sequels for more advanced practitioners, aged urine. You type in aged urine on Amazon, you'll find it. And I think in a month or two, maximum two months from now, the third one, which I'm working on, the aged urine trilogy will be out. And that's exciting for me. because so, um, I've noticed that no one has done it yet. No one has written a book on aged urine. So that's means i just got to put in more work and help people um in this regard nice well you're definitely at the forefront of this harry at the moment um yeah being so public about it i mean of course there's thousands hundreds of thousands of people who have mm. this lifestyle a lot of my friends have this lifestyle in the naturopathic world you know they've had to unlearn everything that they've learned in either their medical degree or their naturopathic degree and go back to the basics and mm. they might not do it forever but as part of their healing journey it's been 
yeah it's been pretty huge but they're not outspoken mm. at all about it so yeah no. well the- shout out to you because um the stereotype of the naturopath is that they often many naturopaths for whatever reason programming maybe won't like you said go into urine therapy because for them it's just what they've been told and they never try it so that's okay but you know there's um yeah you're unique in that way because you are a naturopath and you're promoting it and having me on talk about it and knowing whether you do it regularly or not that there's something to this and that's the first stage I found just knowing okay and when you're ready if not ready because you might not be ready but someone watching this might be ready so it might be we don't do it but we do it for other people and that's okay so yeah I really acknowledge what you've done there um and always been open-minded towards it appreciate it oh yeah so we're all about sharing curative techniques you know and ways that people can heal themselves without having to pay a hundred dollars for this and a hundred for this and you know how do you how do you heal yourself this could be like the world's biggest secret ever (laughs) i do wonder i think it is i really do Mm. is there anything else that you'd like to add harry to anybody that's looking to try this and before um, before you answer that question, I would like to give you a space on the Real Talk Forum to continue this conversation and yeah, to assist anybody that wants to embark on this journey, obviously to, to buy your books and, and if you can offer any hands-on advice, if you do any workshops or any talks or anything like that, then plug them all on there as well. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the opportunity. I'm definitely going to might continue writing books on it. I want to I wanted to set up in London a um, free urine therapy talks, but that's been delayed as I've been doing other things, uh, and that's okay. Um, my advice to people is that um, it's just one of the biggest lies, and it, it starts from swimming pools, peeing in swimming pools. It's naughty when they put chlorine in swimming pools. So you can go the avenue of finding out that chlorine in swimming pools is a complete disaster. Chlorine in tap water is a complete disaster. And that could start you on a journey thinking, well, they've lied to me about chlorine being good for me. So why would they lie to me about urine? One good, one good avenue to research in urine therapy is um, the fact that we all needed our mum's urine and our urine to survive in the womb. The amniotic sac is mainly um, a mum's urine until the kid pees in it. And then the kid reloops through the nose and through the mouth. They're re-drinking their own pee. So it's essential, a baby's skin. You know, it's, it's something that was essential to our birth that we can use as a tool, we don't have to, we can use as a tool for our highest consciousness to raise our vibration in this time of toxicity and ill health, especially with COVID. Um, It's a great vaccine for all diseases that you've got unique to you that you don't even know you're fighting right now. The problems that maybe maybe Alzheimer's 10 years are building, they're they're in your body and the antibodies come out in the urine. It's, um, urine's a weapon for cuts, burns and poisons. And if you're dying from a frog or a poison animal, it's worth a shot to rub a bit of pee on your skin because that might save your life. I think it was designed by some kind of consciousness to, for our highest rival, and it still applies today um, as one of the most amazing free on tap medicines. And I love it. Anybody wants to get in contact with Harry, hit him up on Real Talk. And do you want to just drop your IG on here or your Facebook as well? Oh, sure. Well, my Instagram and YouTube are easy to remember for people, they're just Holistic Health of Harry which is my brand name, and my Facebook, although it's packed, um, uh, is uh, Harry Matadine, oh, Holistic Health Harry, or Harry Matadine on Facebook too. That's Holistic Health with Harry on Instagram. Beautiful, thank you so much, Harry. Hey, no worries, appreciate it, Chloe, cheers.